Hi, I'm Bill Winterberg of FPPAD. I'm here with John Petullo, Managing Director of Technology Product Management for TD Ameritrade Institutional. John, thank you for being here with me today. Thanks for having us, Bill. We're excited to be able to talk to you today a little bit about our iPad app. Me too, me too. John, we're specifically going to walk through the enhancements that you've made to the iPad app. But before we get into the new releases, tell me about the genesis of the iPad app, how you rolled it out to advisors, and what type of uptake you've seen with your advisor community? Yeah, we've really seen, seen great adoption. One of the things why we launched the iPad initially was based on the, the success it had in the marketplace with advisors. So we launched our iPad app uh, about 10 months ago, essentially had balances, positions, history, alerts, you know, a lot of key information that advisors need. You know, just recently, we were able to leverage our API that we've launched trading on, and now that trading was available on the API, our iPad app actually leverages that trading API. So we've been able to add trading for advisors so they can place block trades, individual orders for their client accounts, mutual funds, equities, and also we've integrated CNBC. So not only could they watch CNBC, but they can listen to it as they're navigating through the site. So on average, how many advisors do you have using the, the iPad app? So we have about 800 advisors using the app. So since we rolled out, um, a little over a week ago with the trading enhancements, we've also seen an uptick as well. All right, well, walk me through some of these enhancements. First, as I understand it, you now have trading in the app. When an advisor receives a phone call from the client, client wants to raise some funds out of his or her account, how does the advisor use Veo Mobile to go and preview some of those mutual fund orders to raise some cash? Yeah, great question, Bill. Essentially, the advisor, you know, being on the go, the advisor may not be in the office, so when that client calls, he can actually handle the situation directly on the iPad. You know, from the iPad, they can just go in and search for that client account. In this example, you can pull up all the client accounts. We'll go ahead and select one of these accounts here. And from there, the advisor can see all the key information that the client may need, their balances. Maybe they have enough money in the money market. They can cut them a check uh, directly from there. Or they may want to free up money. If they did want to free up some money, you know, they can go right into the positions page. They can expand that view if they want to be able to see all the positions that the, um, that the client has. And from there, they can go ahead and simply decide to sell you know, some shares of a, a mutual fund. In this example, we'll just go ahead and select the VUSTX. And from there, the advisor can go ahead and say, maybe they want to sell all shares. And we're going to go ahead and click include for the uh, transaction fee. And from there, the advisor gets to preview the trade. Just we always give them one extra step to make sure they know what they're doing here. Mm -hmm. so I see that the icon turns blue once the preview, I guess, is passed. That's exactly right. So now that they can see their order, all everything locked down. And from here, if everything looks good, they can go ahead and place the trade. And as simple as that, they've just submitted an order to TD Ameritrade. That's great. That's great. So this is part of a rollout you've done on the Veo Open Access platform where you've expanded the trading API not only to your mobile app but also your integration partners as well. Is that right? Exactly. And you know we've used the iPad to, to test that out you know, before we give it access to the vendors. And you know, we've just actually sent the information out to all the vendors so they can begin building directly to our trading API. So you know some of the portfolio management systems when we, when we had our technology summit you know, the biggest request was really trading and something else we just launched, which was management fees. So a lot of these other systems who generate these management fees can easily push them to our API so that they can be processed for the advisor very efficiently. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I suspect some advisors like to multitask when they're using your mobile app. They might like to have some market news updates in the background. I understand that you now have CNBC real time inside the app, so you can do some CNBC streaming and uh, do some other operations in that app. Can you walk me through that? Yeah, sure. So this is our landing page and where we give advisors critical information, how many accounts they have, their business at a glance, alerts that may be happening in their client accounts, also you know, some recent news. And we've added CNBC directly here where you can actually play CNBC video. And this is live and streaming. So as you can see here, we just went ahead and played CNBC. You can see directly what's happening here. You can expand the screen if you want to see it full screen. You know, also minimize it. And one of the great things, you know, we've made it available so advisors, you know, if they're plugged in and maybe listening with their headphones, they can listen to CNBC, you know, while they're navigating through the app. That's cool. Can you bring up a client account while you've got, like, the audio streaming for me? Sure. So we just, uh, you know, essentially closed the, the screen there. We're still listening to it. As we go to the consolidated page, we'll go ahead and pick an account. You know, so you're looking to that, as a, at that client account, and you can see if you know, anything comes through the wire or, or happens on CNBC, you're, you're fully connected. That's great. That's great. Let's uh, put CNBC back in the background. Okay. 
So we're gonna go ahead and just pause the audio. All right, and show me some of the detail that advisors can pull up while in Veo Mobile, the detail in the uh, client account balances, and maybe be able to screen at a glance what the, the client's positions and holdings are. Sure, so we'll just go, just start from the consolidated views. A lot of advisors like to see, you know, they're the full books. So from here, you can actually submit and see you know, all the positions that the advisor holds throughout all their accounts. And we've integrated a lot of, you know, neat views. If you click on asset view, you can actually see a nice pie chart, what your asset breakdown is. And you can actually scroll, you know, as you, you can spin the wheel here and, you know, see specific, if you want to, you know, drill down on money, money, fu um, mutual funds or stocks, you can drill down into those. And again, you can place trades directly from here, you know, for a block account. So we'll go ahead and just drill down to an individual account as well. And we give a nice little view, you know, if the advisor has that client on the phone, they can see everything going on in their client accounts. We have the position view expanded here, but you, know, you can see all your balances, your buying power, you know, all the key data that you need to operate your business, positions, you know, as well as if you uh, scroll over, you can also see the history in that account. So if there's transactions that occurred today, you can see exactly what happened to let that client know. That's pretty powerful. All on the road, if advisors have 3G or 4G connection, they really can pipe in and not be captive to their traditional office setting. So it really gives them a lot of flexibility to run their business from anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. We would rec We actually have a message that pops up if you're trying to stream CNBC and you're we want you to use all your 3G minutes, so we let you know that, so you can, it'll run 10 minute clips and, and warn you if you want to leverage that, but those are a lot of the types of tools that you know, we built in to, to make sure we're, you know, have an efficient tool for advisors. That's a great idea. So I'm gonna put you on the spot. Can you comment about some of the additional enhancements your team is considering to Veo Mobile App? Give us a little teaser about what might be in store for advisors in the future. Yeah, so we're pretty excited with where we are today with the iPad. You know, it has full full functionality, all your key information. You could trade through it. It has research, so it really gives advisors you know things that they would need in their hands while they're visiting clients or possibly traveling. Uh, we've also launched a mobile app, which allows advisor a mobile website, which essentially allows advisors to come in and leverage any of their smartphones and view Veo, Veo data directly on that as well. So you know, we really you know took this second phase with the iPad, you know, next we're going to focus on trading for the, the mobile website so advisors can place trades through there as well. And you know, we're pretty excited with our offering and you know, really rounding out the offering that advisors have to you know, allow advisors, again, to really connect from anywhere and, and run the business you know, the way that they want. Yeah, there's no question that mobile apps are just really growing by leaps and bounds among advisors, um, among all financial professionals, because it gives them the, that flexibility that you talk about. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just, you know, I'm amazed at conferences, just seeing the adoption of the iPad and you know, how many advisors have the iPad. You know, it's, the phone apps are, are very good for advisors. They're obviously traveling a lot to have that key information there too. But just the presentation, you know, the types of tools that, you know, with the iPad that advisors can present and, and leverage you know, directly with their clients, I think is, is fantastic. That's okay. really why we went that route with launching the iPad first as well. Oh, excellent. Now, one more question, John. Sure. I know that you can do equities and mutual fund trading through Veo Mobile. I had a question from an advisor about your managed account platform or UMAX. Is there any thought to adding that capability into Veo Mobile? Yeah, so we've had a lot of conversations you know, with the, a lot of third-party vendors that we work with today, and just you know, from a mobile perspective, you know, with integration, I think you know, mobile is the next step of you know, getting a lot of these applications talking to each other. So those are some conversations we're having with a lot of the technology vendors that we work with today, you know, really to integrate all of that so advisors, you know, again, have everything at their fingertips. Great. So really part of a roadmap, a realistic roadmap for the months to come. That's correct. Excellent, John. Thank you for taking the time to walk me through Veo Mobile, show me the latest enhancements that you've made to it, and bring me up to speed about how well it's working for your advisor network. Great, thanks, Bill. Appreciate it. Thank you.